Hey there again everybody from Nick Keenswell. Down in the little town of Uradla today. Taking in the small town feel. But I am here for a little bit of a reason. Hear that wildlife? See the forest station? I've been a bit sidetracked. I've had to put out another video showing my deep feels about the fires recently. Oh no no no. I haven't forgotten about you though. You thought you'd go under the radar and I'd forget? I've got to do a video about you too. The only problem people is how I'm going to call this guy not a savage. Whoops. Too late. Let's get into the video. Now back in 2019, this savage man stoned a wombat to death. To death! This intoxicated monster with a smile on his face and glee running through his sick veins. Now some people say being drunk means this idiot didn't know what he was doing. But there are examples of people under the influence who have pure truth come out of their warped bogan brain. So, what if I put to you that this evil thing just had normal instincts shine through? This of course brings that age-old question to this video. Is it racist? Thank you, Daniel Tosh. I think there is no other way to describe this man other than a savage son of a bitch. He decided to attack and kill a poor defenseless wombat. Just look at this animal here. The poor little guy is waddling away from this threat. And look at the happiness on this monster's face. He knows. He's going to at least hurt this animal. And he's having a joyous time doing it. Now you may not believe it, but this monster has a job has an uplifting job, as a matter of fact, in the community. This guy is a police officer. This is just one of a few horrible surprises about this story. He actually holds the lives of people in his hands. And with the decisions that his before mentioned sick mind makes, this path he's traveling down is very similar to serial killers, starting off with small animals. In fact, he's following the exact path of a once great TV character. And we all know what this guy did. This man's job description is quite weird as well. He's known not just as a police officer, but he's the sheriff of police in Petra... No, it's something like trapping do... Nope, damn it. Oh, that reminds me of what it is. He is a policeman for the black community. What the hell does that mean anyway? We have to segregate government authorities now? And no, I didn't misspeak earlier. This man still does have his job. He kills an animal and just because he pulls out the black card in court and reminds the court about diversity requirements in the workplace. I just wish that Josh had made a more progressive choice. Like a white guy who went to prison for polluting a black guy's lake. This worthless piece of gutter trash gets to keep working in a field where he has a choice in saving lives. I'll let you just think about that for a minute with this clip playing. In closing, I suppose this story is telling me that a little wombat's life doesn't matter one bit. Or was this wombat encroaching on this man's land? But let's be honest these days, we all seem to be on someone else's damn land. To say awful things about this man and even harass his family doesn't really seem to be too bad and off limits in my view. He has to deal with the backlash. His kids will know their father ain't no hero. His colleagues will whisper around the water cooler whenever they are in the vicinity of him for a while. But if all he gets is some hurt feelings, I say that is a pretty small price to pay for his act. Oh spiders, these little alien motherfuckers, they can burn in fucking hell. 